All right. Hey, gentlemen, Bill Murphy here. In this video, I want to explain the soft close call, which is an update to our sales process that we were forced to make when we decided to sell solar over the phone uh, or else we were making the decision too big for the homeowner. I want to explain the psychology behind it and how well it works. This way you can sort of kind of understand like the old way of doing things and this sort of new way of doing it so that you can save yourself and the homeowner a bunch of time and effort. There's going to be a document below this video too, uh, this document here, so that you can have this to share with your team. Also, I put an explainer video link to the YouTube in the document. So you, all you got to do is share the document and then they could watch the video on my YouTube channel as well. Uh, so the soft close call, let's first talk about what 99% of sales companies do uh, when they get a lead, right? Lead in can come from any source, door to door, purchased, whatever. They confirm with a setter and then it's a show rate of 30 to 40%. Right. What we've discovered is that that's not good enough. So we've decided to introduce an additional call before the appointment. So yes, lead in appointment setter. Got it. Once that is set, we do not want to wait for the appointment time and date because life is very busy and a lot of stuff happens. And plus we don't even know if this person can buy anything yet. So why are we going to be holding up a very valuable place on our calendar, potentially wasting the homeowner's time? you know, when that calendar slot could end up being a $10,000 commission for yourself with somebody else who's better qualified. So when a confirmation is set and you have a homeowner on your calendar, you reach out and you soft close them. Okay. Now we do this completely over the phone and the way we do it, right. And the way we do it is these four things. I know it says why, but the way we do it is we explain the, the zoomed out view of solar power to the homeowner. We basically get them sold on the system without the numbers. Okay. Because you know, as an experienced solar rep, just by Googling their home, you can tell by looking at the roof, if you can save the money or not. And the situation is not about going solar. It's about the government investing in upgrading people's homes with solar panels, right? They there's free helicopter money out there that the in the inflation reduction act the ira just made accessible billions of dollars to everyday homeowners to invest in upgrading their homes with solar panels right that's literally the case so that is why you're doing this for someone you're on a mission to get them money that they're entitled to okay and yes it doesn't cost them anything out of pocket and yes it's going to save them a bunch of money and yes the energy rates are going up and all that sort of thing but the the real reality of it is is there's tens of thousands of dollars that they could qualify to invest in upgrading their home. It doesn't cost them anything out of their pocket and whatever's left over, whatever the incentives, the tax credits, the rebates don't cover is 100% paid for by the savings on the power bill. Okay. So it doesn't affect their family budget. They're, they're getting paid thousands of dollars to produce their own power and own a power plant, right? And they don't have to rely on anyone else uh, for kilowatt hour rates at that point. And when you get someone sold on this idea, you can use ranges to get them into a pre-qualification. Now, what I mean by that is you should not design a system. You should not uh, wait for a power bill. You should not present a price in an interest rate in a loan payment in a system size and any of that stuff up front. Uh, to a homeowner without them pre-qualifying because we don't know if they can even buy it, right? Everyone it gets pre-qualified these days. Like you have to run soft credit check even when you sign up for electricity at an apartment or a new house. It's part of the deal. People get their soft credit checked all the time without even talking to another human. So our job on this first phone call, this soft close pre-qual call is to position the next step in the process as a simple soft credit check because then we'll find out what they get, right? It's not an appointment. It's not a sit down. It's not having both decision makers there. It's, Hey, it, this doesn't impact your credit score. Let's do a quick check and we can find out what we can do for you. Now, what this is going to do is obviously it's going to cut through a bunch of the mess and get to people who can actually buy. Now, let me tell you when someone is approved for a hundred thousand dollars at 3.99%, it's very hard for them not to use that 
right? They actually have to say no to money if you get them pre-qualified up front. And, and granted, we're not doing a proposal. We're not doing a uh, presentation. We're not waiting for a power bill. We're not doing any of that stuff. All we're doing is selling them on the high level benefits of solar power because you know just by looking at their roof that you can save them 20 plus thousand dollars on electricity bills, right? You know that. And you know that potentially they could do it for zero out of their pocket. And if they know that they're going to save that amount of money, it doesn't cost them anything up front. And there's these time sensitive, uh, these time sensitive rebates and incentives available, then yeah, I mean, a soft credit check seems to be the next reasonable step. So that's it, guys. When you when you get them soft credit checked and, and they're pre-qualified, you have a 60 plus percent close rate. That's just, we've seen that across 120 reps. I mean, that's kind of the situation because again, you're not really selling them on solar power. You're getting them approved for solar loans up front and that's creating tension for them to move forward, okay? You always wanna create tension in the sale and you you have to have the next step of the sale to be the release valve for the tension. And if you get someone approved for 100K at 3.99% over 25 years and their their solar payment is lower than their power bill or whatever, they don't even need to know that yet, it creates tension. And now they have to like say no to that loan. They have to, and they can't get that money elsewhere for less um, interest rate, right? So it's like, it, it makes it hard not to say no, okay? So the next step to release the tension is to sign up for solar. That's just the way it goes. So I hope you guys got value out of this video. Again, I'll drop this document below the video and uh, stay tuned for further training. Peace.